Budgeters, my name is Jamie from the channel One Happy Frugal Family and today I'm going to show you guys all of the dumpster diving stuff that we scored uh, from the dumpster and we're going to get ready for Christmas. Okay, so this is all of the stuff that we scored today when we went dumpster diving tonight and I have decided in my last video I told you guys, my last dumpster diving video, I told you guys that we were going to use the money that we would have purchased uh, my son's toys um, for their Christmas gifts that whatever we were able to get through dumpster diving we would then put that money towards something fun like a Disney vacation but I decided that a better way to use that money would actually be to go to towards our college savings accounts so anything that I'm getting in these next videos like any of the toys and products that I'm getting I'm thinking ahead for this Christmas, next Christmas, their birthdays, um, any holidays where there's a gift giving involved and, I, and any money that I would have put towards those expenditures, I'm going to now put all of that into their college savings fund. So I'm pretty dedicated and determined at this point to continue my dumpster diving, especially when I can use all of the money that I would have uh, used towards their gifts and put that towards their college. Okay, so go, jumping in, this is the stuff that we got tonight from the dumpster. So here is a big picture. You wanna go ahead and zoom out and show all of everything that we got. And I'll go ahead and show you a little bit um, of the product and go through it. A lot of it was toys this time around, which is great. And not all of the toys we're going to need, so I'm going to donate those to charity. Okay, so briefly, some things I'm excited about. I'm really excited about this little kitchen set because along with this little basket of food, there is also this little cash register which you can buy food, which I really think my three-year-old will think that is really cool. So I'm excited for this for a little Christmas gift for the kids. There's two of these cute little tambourines, which I think will be really fun for the little boys at Christmas. There's some bigger toys like these Jurassic Park dinosaurs, which I might just hold off for a while. And the boxes on these aren't the greatest, but I will probably just keep these in storage for when they get a little bit older. I thought these little hair ties were really cute. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'll donate them. Oh, I realized why they were in there. One of them looks like it's broken. Maybe two. A few of them might be broken. So maybe I'll just give them to friends or something like that. We got a baby doll that looks like it has a little bit of damage. We'll try to clean it off and see if it's something we can donate if to a toy drive. If not, um, we can, we'll probably just put it in a donation bin. bin. These little tights are cute. We'll wash them up and maybe give them to my niece. Um, one shoe, which I'm really sad we couldn't find the other because who doesn't want red sequiny shoes like this, right? They're 11 and a half, which would have fit my husband, so I'm really disappointed we couldn't find the other shoe. We got a bra. <laughs> and let's see. So mostly we got some toys, which I think these fun little kits, um, will be good for my nieces and this little guy he talks when he pushes nose and these things like this was $12.99 it's still in package like I don't see anything even wrong with the packaging and he worked when I when I touched it uh, we got some a <laughs> full bag of uh, paper litter bedding for ferrets which I actually have a friend that has ferrets so um, and like like she I think she has gerbils and that's for them so I'll go ahead and give that to her we also got a little nail filing set which looks like it's in great condition it was $6.99 um, all of these cars so these cars and things we'll give these to our boys this year they're cute little Nerf cars $3.99 this was pretty, it's just a little, um, like a little soap dispenser, which we'll use to update some of ours. It's better condition than what we have. This is a cute little mini mouse sticker coloring set. We'll go ahead and donate that. And it was priced at $4.99. This guy was out of the packaging, but I've seen these, I think these are pretty popular. and They like little fingerling toys. I'm guessing they tossed this one because it was out of the packaging. 
But um, my niece has these, and I know she'd think that was cool. This also was out of the packaging. It was just a little troll, which, I mean, this will... I'll probably just give this to my boys now and they'll put it with their little guys that they play with. This was cute. It's just a little drum toy set. Uh, my little guys are too big for it, but it will be, I think it would be great in a donation bin for a little baby. Um, we've gotten a lot of this hair stuff and my niece has been enjoying this and said if we get more to give it to her. This will probably also be another donation I uh, think we just um, have a lot of toys like this uh, for the little kids, so we'll go ahead and donate this cute little camera camera toy to a donation bin. It's $4.99. Oops. Well, this right here, this keyboard is pretty cool. Um, it originally was $19.99. I'll probably put it in storage for a while for when the boys are older but I like it because it has um the finger numbers and I I think it would be a fun way to start kind of starting them a little bit about music these right here were the most exciting thing for us for our kids Christmas um how many cars is it 50 pieces yeah they'll be super excited for all these cars and we'll probably just line these up uh, we did last year, we gave our sons a bunch of toy er, cars that we got, um, from a Facebook yard sale page and we just lined them up from their door to the Christmas tree and they had fun picking them up and we'll probably just do that again with these and just kind of have them leading the way to the Christmas tree to where the presents will be. This will probably be something that I put in storage for later, um, but it looks like a really cool knife set. It seems like something that they might enjoy playing with when they're a little bit older. And it will also put this with it when they're a little bit older. Um, it's a the Walking Dead zombie gun, but um, it just looks like a regular Nerf gun. And I don't know very much about Hatchimals, but we have some Hatchimal coloring set and some Hatchimals in a set, $12.99, $3.99. Then some other stuff we got, um, a dog harness for $5.99. I'm pretty sure that the universe was listening to me because I was thinking the other day, like, I need a new shower curtain liner. Ours is just kind of getting kind of grungy on the inside. And lo and behold, we got one, and I'm super excited that we were able to find this. Um, we got some shampoo, which is really nice because we've gotten a lot of sh conditioner lately. And honestly, the shampoo is like way nicer than the stuff that we use. Like they sell it for $7.99. And we have some other stuff in there, like some Redken stuff that I noticed like the bottle was $17.99. And so lately all of our shampoo and conditioning is coming from the dumpsters. And a lot of times the packaging around them is a little bit damaged. Like, they're shipped in a plastic baggie, and if they have exploded, like, in transit, then they just toss the whole thing, but we just wash it off, and we have a full bottle to use. This was a cute little baby shark umbrella, which looks just fine, so we'll use it as a little Christmas gift again for the boys. And then we had a Playmobil Ghostbusters guy. I'll save that for when they're a little bit older. We have this... Well, I guess I'll do these since they're on top. These size 9 <laughs> boots, which are actually the size that I wear. And I have this pirate costume that I've been wanting to get some boots for. I'll insert a picture. But yeah, I think these would go great with my pirate costume. And they're my size, so we'll go ahead and see if those will work out. This was a really nice jacket. Um... It's a boy's size extra large, so I'll just go ahead and put this in my kid's clothing bin for their next sizes up. I just I just put things like this that we gather along the way in a storage bin for all of their, like, when they get to that size. So it's a long ways off, but it's nice to start collecting these things so that I have them when I need them. We also got some uh, drapery rods, which is nice because we've gotten a lot of curtains lately. 
and we got this cute little Minnie Mouse car. So I will go ahead and donate this one at Christmas. And it has a few little stickers that are coming off, but I was thinking I could probably just pull them off all the way and then um, just kind of wipe it down and make it look nice and bright and shiny. And then the last thing we found is this um, guinea pig little paradise. I don't even know, but um, a lot of times we've noticed that PetSmart will, uh, if anybody returns something, they just throw away the entire product um, because they can't allow, like if other animals have touched it, I think it like, they can't have other an like animals near it in case it's contaminated. So anything that gets returned to PetSmart seems to be tossed into the dumpsters. So this came from there. We'll probably put it together and see if it works or not. And, if it does, I might give it to my friend for her daughter to um, to update her cage that she has. So anyway, this is our dumpster diving haul today, and we had to film this video really quick because our boys are waking up in the morning, and we don't want them to see all their Christmas gifts. And I actually really like it because, um, again, we're dumpster diving now for their college education at this point, so the money that we would have spent... Uh, on their Christmas and birthday is going towards their college savings. So I'm really excited about that. Like the more the l more things that we can put aside for them right now, the more compounding interest it will be for their college funds when they're old enough to use it. So anyway, have a great day. Take care. Bye.